Why, hello, and welcome to another edition of Vigo's Court. I am your judge, Judge Vader, and I am joined today by a new counselor, by Counselor Psycho. Or hello, would you everybody. prefer Look Counselor forward. Mantis? <laughs> uh, either way is fine by me. Uh, usually it's about 50-50 when people end up calling me. I get lots of Psychos, I get lots of Mantises. Uh, but one thing's for certain, I'm really excited for the game we got tonight. We got who we have tonight, I believe? Who we, else do we have? We got Deadheads, and we got Outlaws of the Fog. Mm, it's gonna be a good match. Two fan favorite teams for sure. I I don't not sure. I think these teams are vying to try to stay in the playoff uh, hunt in their current state. So I wouldn't be surprised to see both teams come out swinging with the best they possibly got because every game's a must-win scenario, I believe, for both teams in this. For time sure. Right now. Yeah, like but both of them are like they're both still in playoff contention but it's a must win in every single match like you said so uh we we definitely will see uh probably no punches held right like everybody's gonna be swinging full swing so um i'm i'm excited to see what happens and of course it should be really interesting because we get to go to deadhead's uh home here of the family residence and so uh, that is a Yamaoka state map. Uh, there is an eight hook minimum, 12 hook maximum. And you know, I think this is actually a substitute map, map because I believe Thompson House was their primary map that they chose. So I think this is due to some desync happening on Coldwind, why we're at family residence. Definitely uh, two maps of a sizable size, except I think there's a little bit less dead zones on this map than uh, the Cold Wind maps, of course. Yeah, that is uh, that is true indeed. And we will be going ahead and switching to Spectator because our teams are already ready. Teams coming in prepared. I love to see it. Everybody uh, get the load out. Everybody knows what they're bringing. No one's like, oh, wait, what am I bringing again? Nope, everything's all set up. They know what to do with all ready to go and we'll see a great game going here oh for sure yeah we we unfortunately had a little bit of a time issue on our side on the vigo staff side uh not on the player side so we did see uh the teams were already ready we got into the lobby and they're like all right we're ready to go we're still on the starting soon screen ourselves so they had a little bit of a head start on us <laughs> glad to see it though Be interesting what kind of killers do you think we're going to see tonight on family residence, really, like you could see a lot of different killers, right? Um, I mean, I think demo's a good choice for uh, just teleporting as well as there tend to be a lot more vaults on this map uh, rather than pallets. And with all those vaults, having a shred at your uh, at your disposal to go ahead and pressure that, really good choice. Same with Pyramid Head. Really, anybody that can pressure the vaulting. Um, I don't I see that, uh, especially when you're saying that the, the vaulting and those gazebos that often spawn on this map, you can get a good shred attack around in those corners as they go for those windows. Mm hmm. Yeah, for sure. Definitely, Pyramid Head is a little bit less uh, less effective in those little gazebos, as you stated, because of the elevation change. If you don't get it before they uh, are like over it, that just kind of sucks for you you know um i would also say deslinger is a good choice because of the vaults but again he's not as effective in the uh in the gazebos so it'll be interesting to see huntress would be another sure. good choice oh just yeah Huntress. anybody who punishes animation locks really mm. we do see all the offerings that we're supposed to see though so i'm gonna go ahead and review some killer rules here All right, guys, the way we do score are through those hook states. So uh, for sure, uh, we will see the killer trying to get as many hooks as possible. Those progressions are worth one less. If you are a slug lord and get the seventh and eighth progression, it's worth one point each. If you can get the 4K, that would be an additional two points that you are awarded as well. Um, and if you do manage to get an entity kill, such as the end game collapse, it would be the corresponding hook plus the progressions. Uh, if you do let somebody bleed out, though, it would be worth no points. Uh, Mori is worth only the corresponding hook, not the progressions. That leaves 30 points available to our killers. For more on these rules, type exclamation point rules in chat. We will be loaded in here. Let's see what kind of killer we're going to have here. Oh, man. Yeah. And we do have just a little bit of a lull as the, uh, as the 
loading screen gives us a little bit of a just a delay just a little delay all right but there we are we're loading in now so now we won't have much longer to wait oh it, that sounds familiar to me it does oh vader was correct we do indeed wait no that's spirit no that's spirit I I for a second, those hands look like demo hands for a second for me right there. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I didn't think about spirit here, but it'll be interesting to see how uh, Encore does here because I can say from uh, from having several scrims with deadheads, they play well versus spirit. So this will be interesting. For sure, and we see Encore out here on the spirit, uh, choosing to bring fairly standard add-ons, I believe here. Trying to stealth out these survivors. This is a really good map for hiding. There's lots of great bushes and bamboo that you can be really sneaky around. But we do spot a survivor here on the Shen. Yeah, and it looks like uh, it is Drisciple. Drisciple is going to head and W Gaming to the nearest pallet, getting the stun, of course, because of that directional uh, phase sound. So it makes it really easy. Oh, got to look up. Uh, there wasn't a vault there. I think if there was a vault there, that would have been better um, because Drisciple might have been able to gain more ground sure but they will make it here to shack and you know as we know shack is very good uh, mind gameable here for both sides no more power left for spirit here they're gonna have to chase here see what they get yeah Drisciple doing a good job not vaulting the window either not falling victim to that mind game abandoning this loop and going on to the next Spirit forced to phase, uh, trying to catch Drisciple. Gonna probably get stunned here. No, they actually get the hit here. Drisciple made the wrong call versus the Spirit. Uh, that is definitely what you want to see. Drisciple's gonna be the first one on hook, too. Very unfortunate for them uh, to guess the wrong side on that pallet there, but that still was a decent about 40 to a minute, second to a minute chase there, so I would not be surprised to see a Jenner or two right about to pop any second now. Well, as long as they are on the other gens, yeah, definitely I would say Deadheads, I would say that they are pretty consistently uh, a team that really rushes those gens out. Um, I, I am seeing Deadlock here, so we do see uh, Deadlock come into play, so you know they were at least progressing two of the gens. And we did oh, see they... Ruin earlier. Mm -hmm. That's two of them. Yeah, we can name we can name three of the perks because they brought corrupt too. But uh, interestingly enough, let, let's talk about ruin and deadlock a little bit because if you bring both of them, then ruin doesn't really affect that deadlocked gen. It doesn't, but in this setting, where you just want any kind of gen regression as possible, I will often see ruin more so paired with either undying or pop than deadlock. But deadlock is just so strong in this meta right now. Especially with M1 killers, a lot of the times you want to run no way, no way out. You can't afford to run two gen regression perks. You have to condense it and deadlock that helps that. Because ruins just totems get found so easily a lot of the times in comp. I feel like uh, that is uh, that is a very good assessment. I feel like that's where pain resonance is really going to come in. But our spirit going ahead and showing us, I know how to use my power very well. Let's go ahead and put cash on the ground here. Uh, going to put him on the same hook Dre was on. Look, getting a little rusty. That's the second survivor up on it. Let's see if we can get more. For sure, we do see the spirit trying to pressure this other gen that has some progress on it. Gonna get a hit here on our Leon, uh, Mr. Beautiful, just going ahead, walking into it. Uh, I do love that cosmetic on Mr. Beautiful, though. That is my favorite Leon cosmetic. Fitting the name, Mr. Beautiful. Oh, Cash on Deli. Oh, jumps off the cake. Very good opportunity here. Gotta love that moment before uh, the Leon here had to give the spear a little kiss before running it away. Now we yeah. will see the mind games at the pallet. Ooh, the phase. I think he's gonna catch him here on this phase. Oh, doubled back perfectly. Still gonna get caught though. Oh, that's, did you see that? That's Joel. We now know all four survivor perks here. Decent amount of time wasted here by uh, the Leon. Cash should be probably somewhere about to reset once this, uh, Broken status effect runs out. Definitely should see more gens popping soon, I bet. You hope, especially now seeing that Jolt is in play, you do not want a three gen to happen because uh, with that range of Jolt, wait, are we just not look, looking around? Dre? 
I, 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 I don't know why uh, Fang was just sitting there and, and took that. That was weird. Uh, definitely though, our spirit is forced to go into chase and uh, gonna get some distance. Uh, Dre is running towards a gen that's being progressed. Oh no, this seems like a mistake. Harley gonna go ahead and take a hit and try to run away as fast as possible. Yeah, on the bright side, these gens are quite spread out, so I don't think Jolt, unless you literally down in between them, are gonna hit more than maybe one or two gens at a time. That is good for these survivors that they have spread them. I think as long as they finish that gen that we uh, just saw Harley get pushed off of, then I think that's uh, true. But definitely, uh, oh, actually, no, the one the one that Harley was on was not the priority gen, I don't think. It was the gen right next to where we started this phase, actually. Because if anybody gets downed at that, uh, at that little, um, ha not really house, uh, I was trying to think of a name for it, but... A gazebo, yes. If anybody got down to that gazebo, it would actually hit all three gens right there. So um, wow. definitely, uh, I would I would hope that they knock out one of those outside gens there. Yeah, it definitely will help. But at least the, uh, the although the gens are kind of lined up down here in a straight line, they are spreading completely across the map. So it's not the worst case scenario. The, uh, the spear can phase straight down the line and get to them quick, but. At least they aren't all bundled up completely where you could just stand in one spot and see all the gens. I mean, that's true. That is true. Uh, oh, body block. Perfect body block there. Good job, Mr. Beautiful. Uh, we will see Cash just still W gaming, trying to get away. And this is not the best tile for this. But uh, going ahead and running it to perfection. I think he slow vaulted that that first window to get to the second window, actually. Very smart. Oh, Spirit getting run at the TNLs. Cash doing what Cash does, man. And with that time around, Spirit knows there's no uh, DS at all in play or anything like that. So they could have tunneled out. But choosing to go for probably these gens, make sure that they're not popping them. Yeah, I mean, I think Spirit knows as well as we do. That is priority gen right there uh, because uh, they could have jolt value if uh, they keep all three of these gens up. Yeah, especially with uh, all these perks should be, I believe, known to the survivors at this point. They know there's no uh, end game really worries. Oh, no! Nia running straight into the wall! Yeah, that's the problem with some of these tiles. You run in there going, all right, so this is an opening up. Oh. No? Dead end? Uh, as in I'm dead? All right. Yep. Heard. You managed to drop the pallet on the right side, though. Maybe waste some more time here. Oh, I think they're going to catch up here. Oh, tried to spin or die, and this time it's a die. Yeah, but this is only the fourth hook for our spirit. Uh, only two gens left. I bet you at least one more is about to pop. This is not terrible if you're uh, deadheads for a survivor performance versus a spirit far. For sure, and I actually want to say I think that's one hook on each person So this is a really good job by uh, Deadheads to also spread out the love a little bit and uh, Still leave four bonus points possible on the table For sure for sure at least make it a uh, Not a lot of progressions going on these survivors managing to get these saves pretty easily yeah, no progressions as well as no rehooks. Like doing a good job of they took the body block to allow wait a minute. That's a broken status? Is this renewal? Could be. Well now that's, shortly. That's a really good play if they elected to bring renewal. Um, Leon takes a hit. Yeah, Mr. Beautiful taking a hit, but gonna keep on running. Let's see, should, yep, there's the heal. It was renewal. That's an excellent play from our survivors. Um, what what would be really nice is if they also brought adrenaline possibly, and maybe Harley comes for a body block. That would be a great play. No, Mr. Beautiful has adrenaline. Even better, everybody's healed. <laughs> wow, and you know, there's no no head now, so it's gonna have to be two hits. No, 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 we have to protect these gates. Unless something crazy happens, it should be a minimum three out, probably four with some smart body blocks. Oh my goodness. Look, you know what? Like, shout out to whoever uh, on this team was helping with making the builds and everything because, hey, 
those builds are being utilized to perfection good job for deadheads here and i think you get the four out there's no no way out no no head to help all you need is one body block oh the no for distance. they can heal tech it they can heal tech it they can especially with the miss swing mia's gotta go for it now a miss swing again oh my god dvd Oh, you get the uh, wait, wait. Oh, she. Uh, there's a I, hook right there, though. There's a hook right there, though. If they have somebody who, if they can get, if uh, Mr. Beautiful, Mr. Beautiful has BT. If he has BT, this is a free save. You're gonna have to chase those survivors out, though, because if they heal up, they're gonna take hits. He needs to chase those survivors out. Yeah, he's he just gonna. He's he's trying out. to sit here. He's trying to sit here and just go. You're not getting this save. Now he's in a really bad position because even if he does push him out, Mr. Beautiful's right here. The problem is though, there's three survivors here. There's no way you'd have to get a really lucky grab. Otherwise, you're you're not getting anybody after this. No, no, and I don't think that he's going to. I think this is this is a. Uh... Oh man, that was a perfect body block, and this is it. This is it. Cash doing what Cash does, giving more body blocks, and that is a four out. Great performance from Deadheads. God, those those swings were really unfortunate. It didn't end up mattering in the end, but in that situation, I feel like you need to go to the side a little bit to make sure you confirm the hit and don't just whiff like that. I've seen that happen many a time, unfortunately. Well that was the thing they weren't they were uh oh go to the side of the survivor you're saying yeah on the heel that's, tag. That, that's, yeah, that's why it misses because you're standing in that like directly in front like that yep. that's when the hitboxes mess up like that all the time you got to go a little to the side to try to avoid that yep it thinks you swung at the uh down survivor yep yep Yep, I feel it. DBD doing DBD things, but hey, good performance for sure. And Deadheads has a 25 to 9 lead over Outlaws of the Fog. Yeah, but let's not underrate what that spirit did. I feel like, despite what the score shows, that spirit played a decent game and they had some good plays. It was just, uh, the De I feel like Deadhead Survivor play and teamwork just really carried uh, that score for them. Oh, a hundred percent. And looks like we have Cade coming in to kill for uh, Deadheads. And definitely, I think that uh, Deadheads killers have drastically improved. So this uh, this could be a pretty interesting game. Why did I invite Cash? My mistake, Cash. Don't accept that. Uh, I was just about to invite all of Deadheads to verse deadheads um imagine that's not what i want to do all right so <laughs> we are we have invited the survivors now the actual survivors but uh hey we've got a high five nominated my friend okay, so which, which direction i go let me, let me check the camera hold on make sure i don't mess this up it's that way okay, okay. it's that way it's that way okay so make sure make you sure. Get, make sure you get the spacing too because you want it you want to like end like right at the yeah. at the screen you know yeah, so that so that like, that was yeah, like like right there, like right there. That that's exactly. that's it right there, right? All right, all right, all right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, pop! Oh, I got there first, but it's okay. Oh. We got the high five. We got the high five. The, I was just there, I was there. holding it out like, hey bud, hey bud, you ain't gonna leave me hanging, right? Yeah, right? I got it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> we got the high five the high five pass in the court uh yeah definitely this should be this should be good though uh i know that outlaws of the fog really have been kind of strong on the survivor side of things um so we'll see how uh deadheads can try to uh keep the lead that they have but this could be an opportunity for outlaws of the fog to come back for sure. I would not be surprised, though, for Deadheads to possibly bring out a strong A-tier type killer here to maybe try to be like, okay, we got a good first game, but, you know, there's still three rounds to go. They can easily come back. Let's extend the lead even more, get a nice at least 3K with plenty of hooks, and just make it feel like that this game's already over. Mm -hmm. And then it's just, you're relaxed at that point, and then the other two trials, you can play relaxed, and you'll change. Probably because you're playing relaxed, you're going to do even better. So uh, that's just how you want to set yourself up for success, I feel. You know, like a strong A-tier killer, you know, like the Wraiths, the Twins, 
pyramid head, you know, that that kind of level of killer, I feel like, what's about to come out here. I think Wraith actually has fallen quite a bit since uh, since that uh, that nerf yeah. to, to his uncloak and nerf oh. to, you know, just nerf to the boost after the uncloak. Um, we've seen a lot of teams bully the heck out of Wraith. He is just an M1 killer at the end of the day with no other specialty other than some uh, niche invisibility and speed, but if you're really good at 50 50 speeds and I'm not sure what the regions are on these teams exactly comparatively for the people that are playing exactly but Wraith's a killer that can very well utilize bad like slight I don't want to say bad ping but like the separance of regions to their advantage very well mm -hmm. uh, the 50 50s can really get messed up by that for sure yeah I would I would uh, I would agree with that for sure um definitely we're waiting to see all of our survivors come in here but uh we do see uh we do see shep shep we do see Le five gum we see polished potion we're just waiting on that last survivor to go ahead and get in here uh, that way we can go and play this next game but uh what what killer do you fully expect to see here i, I want one pick right here from knowing, psycho mantis knowing Cade and knowing who I've seen him play in the past because I used to be uh, teammates with Kate actually for several months. Uh, my bet would be Pyramid Head. No, unless this mm. changed in his past, I think it's one of his stronger killers, and it's right around the strength level of a killer you want to bring. And you could play him on this map, like we said before. Uh, you have lots of windows and like just various uh, loops that you can really use his power very well at. That is very true. Hey, I, I just want to make sure you got something to drink here. Um, Cash just wants us to wants to make sure that we're hydrated. We're talking a whole lot, you know. So um, go ahead and if you got a drink nearby, go ahead and uh, you know take a sip I with mean, me. All right. It's not exactly water. I got a as a a soda. Nice. I'm not sure what region you would call it. You know, I, I have uh, I also have soda. That was the last swig of my soda right there. Thank you for that hydrate. I'm going to have to go get more um, if uh, if any more hydrates come through. I'm going to have to like do one of those like sprints out of the camera and, uh, you know, go get one and come back. But, uh, yeah, definitely appreciate you, Cash. Um, yeah, I... Hmm, who do I expect to see? Hmm. Hmm. I think Pyramid Head is a def is definitely a really good choice. I'm gonna go with demo though, because Cade does play a good demo still he too. Does. I forgot about that. So I think I'm gonna say demo. Is the Leprous Lichen add-on allowed in Vigo's court? Because I've been seeing a lot of that add-on recently for demos. Uh, that's is the that eerie that's one. the eerie one? That's the eerie one. Yeah, the one that lets you see everybody mm -hmm. when when you go. Yes, that is allowed. I've been seeing that one a lot more recently in comp, and I, I could see that putting in work on a map like this. So you maybe you uh, might be right on that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, and it looks like we did have Wakanda go ahead and join in for Outlaws of the Fog on Survivor side. So you already know them spicy loops are coming. Uh, man, so let's see how Cade hangs with this survivor group. Uh, we are just waiting on Gum to ready up here, and I think then we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tell them they're good to go. Um, all right, and we are good to go. We've already taken care of the hydrate, the high five. So, guys, keep those channel point redemptions coming. We want we want more of those. <laughs> I know I'm saving up. I already told chat uh, the last game. I'm, my goal next time is when I come back and I'm playing in Vigo's court again for the flex. I'm going to nominate myself to be interviewed. For oh my, my goodness! <laughs> Save like, it up for it. You're like, hey, I don't want anybody else getting interviewed. I nominate me, the one and only me. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, yeah, like, I, I definitely, I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of that. So, returning to Vigas, you say? You say playing on a team for Vigas, huh? Hmm, hmm. Trying to trial for teams, you never know. I mean, like I said, I have, I have a team, but the team is kind of be on hiatus for a while, and they're not playing in leagues, and I really want to get back in the league environment, so who knows where I'll go, you never know. I might, I might have a, I might have a feeling, maybe. Maybe. 
But you know, I so survivor rules. Let's talk about those. So survivors are trying to finish gens. That way they can escape. So as you can see here, the gen points are pretty good pretty good it totals up to 10 points if you finish all the gens but you know those escapes are worth quite a bit you gotta you, you want most of those escapes those uh third and fourth escapes do total up to 10 points if you escape with two or more hook states remaining uh you do also get um one point each so there are 26 points available to the survivors definitely uh quite a bit there on the table to go ahead and try to uh come back into this game as we did see 25 points scored by deadheads so this is outlaws chance to come back for sure for sure and we will shortly see what killer they will be bringing but i believe it'll probably be a strong one I want to seal the deal up here uh, I just want to say I was right. Oh. <laughs> I was right. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we are going to see Demo over here dancing for us a little bit. Just showing us a little bit of the dance. Looking for survivors in this non-corrupt area. Honestly, a pretty friendly corrupt zone. Well, Alright, where are those survivors? Where are the juicy survivors? Oh wait, we didn't bring that add-on. But they are going with the standard uh, add-ons that have been, uh, I feel like, comp the comp standard for demo for the long time. Up until recently, I've started to see Leprous Lycan, but maybe uh, Kane thinks that this map, the, the standard add-ons will do him better. I'm trying to find a survivor here, struggling a little bit, but, oh, finds one! And then there's the first shred right there uh, and there was not a vault there but uh, still able to get the shred off and honestly you can get another shred off here there's gonna be a jump not a jump a fake Ooh, good fake here by uh, the five gum imagine mm. to make some distance off of it maybe we can make the pallet here yep does get to the pallet and it is continuing to run here so uh definitely stimulating our demo senses Another quick down here by the demo. It'll be interesting to choose, uh, see where they choose to hook, probably near those uh, uncorrupted gens. Maybe take them a little closer. Nope, just takes the first one they can get. Oh, I think that's a good call too, because this gen right here is being worked on. By hooking right here, you've pushed somebody off of a gen. Allow yourself to put a little portal down there. Uh, and then confirm where you want your three gen to be. We can tell what's being set up here. It is the three gen. I might want to count. I might be more than three down there. There are four gens indeed, you are correct. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it, it's still closing off the area, right? Uh, by sure. confirming there will be a, a four gen, you, uh, you are confirming that a three gen will be down there. Yeah, you gotta think Cade's gonna probably try to avoid this area that he's running towards now for most of the game, since most of the gens he's gonna wanna protect, it appears, are gonna be on the other side of the map. We'll get a quick down here on left five gum. Do they have the DS though? They are the obsession. No DS. And we lost one of our gens that we were looking for that three gen to be. So, unfortunate. We do see Deadlock coming into play. Um, that was interesting. interesting little uh, pop there uh, of, uh, like, changing location. I think we had a little bit of ping issue there. Perhaps for spectator bug. You never know with DVD. Right. I... So now we are traversing the upside down, of course. Gonna go ahead and probably try to pressure, make sure that this save does not happen. Um, especially as you've lost what you were looking for in a 3-gen. Definitely, Cade here looking to, if not camp the survivor to death, at least get a trade for it, for sure. Yeah, we do see... Uh, this, who is this? Oh, that's Wakanda. Wakanda avoiding the shred. Very, Very good smartly job, though. Hug that corner really tight to make sure they didn't get hit. Oh, they gave up the hook though. Oh, not getting uh, not getting blinded by it though. That's good. Yeah, spread was a little ambitious there, but he do catch up to the survivor. Got a swing out of it, and oh no, Gum, why are you here? Gum here, they gotta be real careful. Somebody needs to come in and take this aggro. 
You can't lose a survivor with four gens left. Oh no. This doesn't look good. Oh, uh, I think that's definitely going to be our first elimination of the game. And unfortunately, because it was a hook, unhook, hook, that is the maximum amount of points on that survivor as well. So definitely very good showing so far for Deadhead's Killer. I don't think they meant to go all the way to that one. Oh, never mind. I'm wrong. There's a gen over here, and they found person. That's a Wakanda. Great timing on that shred there as the survivor runs through the doorway there, not to get caught on the little edgeways there. Yeah, definitely very good call so far by our killer. Uh, really love to see it. Oh, another down. That is one of my favorite parts about demo there is that demo, much like Victor, when they're on uh, elevated surfaces and then they leap, they just go crazy far. And that wasn't even that high of a really, it was only like a couple steps up, but it still made a difference in that range there, I felt. Yeah, demo demo in general just goes far, man. <laughs> that Those powerful legs of demo to get the leap, ooh. Just, this man never skips leg day, I swear. Oh yeah, not, not, not all like a uh, wraith, we would say. Oh yeah, Wraith, Wraith's got no legs, man. Like, all upper body. Like, imagine Wraith skipping like Brock this. Wraith, Wraith is the Brock Lesnar of uh, DVD. I would have to agree. We do, ha we do have a, a choice to make here, though. It looks like Wakanda went ahead and delied off the hook. Um, looks like we're trying to go back for him. Uh, he's at, he is at the shack, which is better for survivors here versus a demo. Uh, do, I, oh, you do get that. Oh my gosh. Wakanda's hesitation cost him there for sure. Um, that's unfortunate. Well, slug here, however, though. We're probably worried about the DS. That was a real tasty shred, though, around that uh, shack. We will get a teleport. Maybe try to check this main gen that survivors were on before, see if somebody's on it again. Or just uh, find scratch marks and then, then find success that way. Right, yeah, I I think the finding scratch marks definitely was a good call there for sure. Uh, or like finding scratch marks, definitely not good for the survivors, very good for the killer. And getting the shred on the pallet, taking out all the resources over here, definitely what you wanna see. Um, somebody's probably gonna pick up Wakanda. Yep, there it is. Oh, they're both injured. Oh no, Shep Shep. Oh no, Shep Shep. Good and bad. I believe Gum had the flashlight, so you're not fearing flashlight saves. Unless one of the survivors possibly picked it up. Ah, you that is know. true. That is true. Wakanda getting healed rather quickly. Mm -hmm. Did Wakanda have the uh, med kit? I don't think so, but that was fast. Well, it was. Maybe they have a resilience or something in play as well. Possibly. They do get the save on Shep Shep. And looks like uh, Potion went corner. I don't know if that is to say you're not getting a hook from here, but I think that uh, there is a close enough hook. And there is. They will get the hook. Although, if somebody's in to take one hit, they don't get this hook. Nobody's here, though. I think it would be close. I think they might still get the hook. It would, have been it would be really close. Oh, man. All survivors have been hooked once. Uh, this is definitely good for our killer as they, they try to deny bonus points here. Potion getting saved already. We may see a teleport right back to uh, where Potion was. I hope the survivors have vacated the area. He's doing a really good job in this game. And like you mentioned before, has there been a single progression hook at all in this game? No, no, not one. Straight hooks, man's trying a 12 hook. He is trying to 12 hook and he's doing pretty well. Definitely these gen. Oh, uh, Miss Shred. These gens are going fast enough. I don't know that he gets the 12 hook, but man, oh man, is this uh this is a pretty good showing. Oh no, not another Miss Shred. Oh no. On with these jukes has just been insane in this map. Yeah, I feel like that was Cade thinking that they were going to get juked. And then because of uh, them thinking they were going to get juked, um, they actually juked themselves. Because Wakanda didn't even really do any side to side, no fancy movement, just straight running. But uh, by straight running, he mind gamed. 
that, now that you say that, that just makes me imagine Michaela just turning and looking at the demo after the mission, just saying, "Congratulations, you juked yourself." A hundred percent. Doesn't juke that one though. Nah, because that was a that was a choice. To, wait, they're on the portal over here, or they're near the portal? Ah, uh, who is it? Right there. It looks like it's a polished potion, and that's uh, that's gonna result in an injury there. Uh, chasing them off that gen smart, I would say Wakanda's probably going to rotate to it. Uh, they do get this, they're gonna throw it, that's gonna get shred. This is a good showing so far, uh, for both teams. Oh no, potion, you got mind gamed. Yeah, one thing to know also is you, uh, putting portals on top of generators can be really dangerous sometimes because you could accidentally, uh, if you have your bindings on the same button, accidentally start cleansing the portal rather than doing the gen. And that may have been what happened there. I think they were on the opposite side of it. Uh, it's just uh, they might have been within the radius standing near it where you may have been able to see it. Or that. Um, definitely our demo is not seeing anybody near the gens. The deadlocked gen is that one that we were near in that little gazebo. Resets have come in. Um, should be interesting to see what these survivors do. We saw scratch marks on that opposite side. Will they elect to go for save here? They're near that portal. What are you gonna do, demo? You don't have any more portals to place. There's a portal right there. No, electing to stay here was the correct option as you get a hit on Shep. Shep does not go for the unhook. Instead, abort submission. Very good job here, but unfortunately, uh, we have a tough decision here now for outlaws. They either let go of that gen to go for the save and make sure that uh, the survivor doesn't die, or they commit to the gen and try to get that finish to just secure at least one escape, hopefully. Well, I think that uh, Potion had camaraderie because uh, that that timer stopped moving. So good play by Cade to go ahead and go hit this gen. Keep it from popping. With that extra time, you might as well. Yeah, that's probably why Shep chose to not unhook in that situation, knowing that they could just burn more time by running through. I would agree. They took a health state for it, but they were able to get away. Um, we do see Wakanda on that gen, finishing that gen. Uh, but uh, do you see what I see? I see a haste effect. Mm -hmm. See if we get it down here. Mind games the pallet and gets the down. Yeah, now our survivors know. Also, no way out's been procced, and it had four charges. So, this is going to be the second kill here, and this is a hook, unhook, hook. This was not a uh, progression. And now, look where no it is, right between the two doors. This is worst case scenario for our survivors. Yeah, you're realistically not gonna. Unless uh, we see a mistake here by Kate, I don't see any way that these survivors manage to break that Noed or get a gate without Kate knowing about it. Yeah, not really paying attention to watching the Noed too closely. I think that's the mistake I'm seeing from Cade right now. We are going all the way to the edges here, pursuing when you can actually watch and see where they are. Oh, he's gonna take Chase over here. I think Shep's on that totem. She tends to be a totem goblin. Yeah, I'm fairly certain there was a spot he could have stood where he could have see, like seen the area where no one was and both gates, I'm sure. All right, so protecting the totem for sure. You can stand there and see where the gates are. All right, there's uh, Wakanda right there. I might give Wakanda a little bit of chance. Oh my goodness, Wakanda, no! Wakanda coming and giving Demo a kiss, but not with the no edge you don't. Oh man, and I think I see scratch marks on the opposite side along the wall. Yep, there's Shep right there on the gate. Oh no, this is spelling 4K. this in fact be a 12 hook 4k or no no it would be oh, a 10 okay. hook to progression 4k uh, okay still very very incredible score here by this uh struggling with words right now oh demo. you are fine demo. yeah this demo played a very well chef gorgon going ahead and cooking up a 4k for us very nice belt buckle we have here by the way Oof. Never noticed that. 
Yeah, that is definitely a very good game by Deadheads, keeping the pressure on. Uh, you did let all five gens get uh, get finished, but oof, you got the uh, you got the score there for sure. You wanted to get, and with a four out and a four K following, I mean, this is a. Well, let me let me do my math real quick. But to me, that looks like a thirty-four point game. Uh, that's that's significant. That you have to have two games where you can get the score down to manageable, uh, like or this next game you have to get it down to manageable. That's almost enough to uh, close it out. Um, you close it out with a tie next game. Like yeah. that—that's—that's that's all you need if you're deadheads. So you can definitely relax from this point if you're deadheads a little bit. Yep. Looks like I said, if the deadheads come out with a strong performance like they did right there, they can rest easy knowing that the rest of the game should be fairly safe in hands. I would not be surprised to see maybe a lower and not a throwaway killer because this game isn't over yet by any means, but a killer that uh, you don't necessarily. You know, like more of a niche killer, I'd say. You know, like, I want Scratch Mirror Myers. So, I mean, I don't know what you're yeah. talking about. I want to see some jump scared survivors, all right? <laughs> it seems like the kind of situation where you want to tunnel a guaranteed one or two people out of the game, probably, just to make sure you're putting points on the board. So, this is the kind of situation that calls for your Leatherface, your Tricksters, your Pig, if you want to be weird with it. Uh, you know, like that kind of a situation. Just somebody who's just really good at dedicating and making sure somebody's going to go down. And then you're not going to have a zero hook game. Well, you know, actually, now that you mention it, if all you're trying to do is really, like, prevent the, uh... Pre prevent survivors from escaping, I've got a new request. Tombstone Myers. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to see the. Uh, I just want to see a little bit of the stabby stabby. Yeah, I know, but unfortunately, it does take a really long time to oh, get yeah. both, uh, both those eeries up. It just takes too long. Unless you were just doing it for fun, just to stare at people, it just takes too long. Infinite yeah. Tier Three with J Myers Memorial is actually very doable. However, surprisingly quick. But double eerie, no. Yeah, I wasn't thinking double eerie. If you're just trying to make sure that one or two don't get out. Oh, okay. I thought you were, I thought you were talking about double eerie. Nah, <laughs> nah. Just maybe just maybe prevent little. prevent two of them, right? Like bring the eerie with uh like you said, uh, uh like bring one bring the uh eerie tombstone and then bring another uh bring whatever else you want. Uh yeah. Yeah, it could probably be fine. bring the purple one at that point cuz you don't want to get the probably movement speed uh Yeah, penalty. that's true. That's true. And with the and we... with the purple tombstone, you can actually you can get a couple of those off. I think you can only get what two. Uh, I think it depends on your add-ons you're bringing and uh, how well you stalk every single survivor. Obviously, but I think you can get at least two with the, the purple one. Mm -hmm. Well, who will we have uh, killing for deadhead oh, here? Oops. That's not what I was trying to do. Uh, we have Cash killing here. Ooh. Good friend of mine I used to play with. Uh, I used to call him Cash Money Record XX. He knows uh, quite a bit, a few things about Killer. Yeah, uh, he does. It'll be interesting to see what he brings out here. I know what his two specialties are. I won't spoil that. <laughs> but I think you, uh, chat might know Cash well enough to know what them are as well. Yeah, I... <laughs> I, I think I know what Cash is bringing too, so I'm not gonna spoil anything either. But um, you know, I, I did happen to call the demo, right? Like knowing demo yeah. was coming yeah. out. But you did. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. With uh, with Cash, I think everybody will be pleasantly surprised to see who. Mm. Well, I'm gonna say they go with a killer that they want to burn, but not a burn killer per se. So I'm going to say that he comes out on the pig. Pig? I'm saying randomly he comes out on the pig. That's what I'm thinking. Because it's a killer you could make sure you're going to get at least a kill with if you want to tunnel them out. Because, you know, you get, a, you, get, you get a trap on their head in the beginning of the game and you just follow them wherever they go. There's nothing you can do about it. It's basically the Leatherface situation of not being able to save your teammates. Except you're not able to save your teammates from the box blowing up on their head. Not 
the lack of BT saves. Right. Possibly. I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and say I think maybe you come out with like a doctor here, just just cause that that'll be your your kind of burn killer, right? Um, we'll we'll find out in a minute though. But let's talk about uh, some of the rules within Vigos here. So definitely, as we talk about some of the bands and builds, yellow items and add-ons, uh, only one of each perk and item allowed. But there is a duplicate BT allowed, of course. You know, balancing things. Um, any of these banned perks cannot be allowed. Built to last, prove thyself, starstruck, haunted ground, lethal pursuer, any of the boons, and clairvoyance. Um, I had seen in the last match somebody asked why clairvoyance was banned. It was due to it being bugged, and so we had banned it for the season. I don't think it's bugged anymore, but it is still remaining banned. Survivor uses are limited to one character per team. Any of the violations are subject to penalties. On, for more on these rules, use exclamation point rules in the chat. Um, and then we are ready to go into the match here. And I have heard, yeah, clairvoyance still allows. Oh man, oh. it's trap daddy. I heard that noise. Strong Evan has entered the chat. Oh Lord. Yeah, what I was gonna say about that uh, that clairvoyance, uh, clairvoyance still allows survivors to run through uh, killers while they're using it. Um, it gets rid of their collision, so it is still bugged. And let's talk about these add-ons that uh, Cash is choosing to bring here. I believe that was uh, setting speed, and is that the one that uh, sets traps themselves or the one that injures? Uh, sets traps know. themselves, look over there, that's Eerie Stone. Yep, I, I knew it was one of those guys, couldn't recognize which one it was. Of course, you're going to want to probably move these traps into better locations so when they reset themselves, they're in better spots rather than just out in the middle opening. Cash going to work, trying to get a good setup going on here. Yup. Oh, you're not supposed to give Trap Daddy a hug. I get that he looks all big and huggable, but not like that, gum. These survivors really getting up close and personal with these killers. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Uh, we are seeing, of course, the kick here. A trap at that pallet. I think that was a good place trap. We've seen a couple trappers place uh, too far into the pallet where a survivor can actually drop the pallet and hop over it, and they're still fine. So uh, I think that one was aptly placed, though. And we do see, of course, a pickup of another trap. Um, oh, buddy. Where's Potion yeah. going? Don't watch where you're going. No, no. oh my god, oh my they must be into it. <laughs> it's Wakanda. Wakanda stressing me out. You know, if you if you know about Wakanda, there is an infamous clip of Wakanda from season zero of Vigos of uh Wakanda walking into a trap. So uh I thought we were about to get a repeat. Close, close. They might not have seen it to the last second, especially if they were looking behind them. For oh, oh no, no potion walking right into the trap that's the unfortunate potions, not the traps mm, i mean you know these traps do look like they could uh, benefit from a good polishing though well now he's gonna be able to polish this hook all right we do have another trap being set over here look at that you know, and I I think that's kind of interesting. There are, there are some traps that we're setting here that are obvious, and there are some traps that are less obvious that we've seen uh, set, such as the one that Potion walked into, right? For sure. You, know, you get lots of benefits from either way. You can make a trap obvious, uh, but if you're blocking off a really important window or a really important pallet, who really cares if it's that visible if you, the survivor just can't go there, you know? One spot the survivor just can't go through. Right, oh no, they're gonna go vault that window. Don't vault that window, don't vault that window. Oh, they saw that one. They saw it. No, they're gonna vault it anyway. No. No! <laughs> Not another one! <laughs> Strong Kevin hours. Oh, oh no, that was a- Oh no, he was too early. Oh. Gum, I'm disappointed. I have disappointed. No, he's trying oh. again. <laughs> <laughs> Wakanda does get up, uh, but man, the strong Evan hours, man. Oh. Putting the work in so far. Where does Wakanda go? 
Oh, picking it up. Do you think that gets called out that that trap's been picked up? Oh, well, you'd hope that, but you never know. Oh, we're here to break. Yep, so these over drivers there. are paying attention to where these traps are. Ooh, try to get it cut off here, maybe. Yeah, he's trying, but uh, it it wasn't it wasn't working. That he almost walked into his own trap. Did you see that? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That would have been crazy. His spidey senses must have been tingling. You're like, wait a minute, I shouldn't go this way. <laughs> wait a minute, my trap sense it's tingling. Oh no! Oh no! Confirming that he's gonna get the kill here. He's taking potion with him in into the end of the trial. He's he's taking potion. You can't you can't save here. It's it, this is not happening. This is not happening. Oh. What the survivors should attempt to do here. Yeah, you can't go that way, Gum. He's not threatened by you over there. Oh, man. The survivors are trying. They're body blocking themselves is what they're doing. Oh, no grab. Survivors everywhere. If I was in that comms, I would have just screamed scatter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh they i i can't believe it but uh i thought that for sure he was gonna get the grab but nope i will say though shep shep is on jp servers that that may have affected the no grab perhaps so uh, it looks like uh, Ka uh, Ka kashaka might have uh, actually went for a swing there as well it's hard to tell I, I if he did go for a swing i don't know that that was intended but yeah i think that is what we did uh oh uh oh, potion, and potion. Though. Wakanda coming in for a body block. Potion with the lithe. Wakanda getting the body block. No pa no uh, traps over here by Shaq, right? I don't think I see any. I don't see any. Very rare for a trap. You usually see at least one over here by Shaq. Not this time. Oh uh, no, we're chasing back towards where this pallet or something is trapped. May be able to catch potion here. It's an M1 here on Wakanda. Yep. Now they're in danger, both both running the same way. Oh, and they're running all the way back to Shaq, which already has the pallet gone. This is uh, this is where you are going to get straight chased and put in the basement, my friend. One of these survivors has to be going down. Wakanda taking one for the team. You know, I I suspect Wakanda hasn't been hooked yet. I think this is why uh, we do see the smart move from Cash going ahead and still chasing. Oh no. Oh no, where are you going? You vaulted here. That was an intimidation vault. Uh, assert dominance. Mm -hmm. They're picking up Wakanda. No, they're not. They're healing themselves or mending. And they're going to go down here. This is going to be the death right here. Uh, what do you think? Hook Wakanda first? I guess not. Probably just going to try to hook towards uh, their other slug, maybe. Yeah, get a hook right here. Go for the other one. Yeah, you do see Shep in the area. Shep's gonna get the pickup and give a body block here as well. This is a danger yeah. zone, though. You're next to basement. You see two survivors here. I was gonna say, you gotta see, think, look, look up the five gums at a 99 gen sitting waiting for the right time to pop it. Yeah. We'll see the haste status effect as well. We will see what looks to be a basement hook coming in as well. No way out, just got procced. It only had one charge though, because we elected not to hang our other friends here. Strong Evan just got stronger. Does Evan be strong? Wait a minute, was that? Did, did you see what I saw? I think I missed something. The totem, it's, it's right there. It's, oh no. It's, it, it, it's at the shot. These Noed spawns have been insane so far today. <laughs> you, there's no way you save here. You, you can't. You have to just leave. You just put a trap in front oh, of it. Oh no. You just even, put a trap in front of even it. Even worse. You do not save these. Run. Sprint. Fly, you fools. There's something I don't know if you can do or not that I maybe you'll be more versus more of a survivor main Can you dead hard into a crouch to break that totem or would you be trapped? You'd be trapped. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate
Because that would be the only way you could possibly try to make a play is you dead hard and crouch immediately and do the totem, but I don't think that's possible. When you, like you said when you dead hard over a uh when you dead hard over a trap, uh there has to be enough space on the other side of the trap for you to not get trapped. There's not. Where it was placed, yeah. there's not. I'm not sure how that would work. Yeah. Because the trap doesn't uh doesn't like close when you dead hard over it. It just it stays open and you just don't end up triggering the trap right as if you jumped over it gotcha because i know uh you can do that and you can get to like exit gates and stuff like that i've seen that happen but i've also seen like when they let go of it they end up getting stuck in the trap but that might have been the past uh bugs and stuff like that yeah i think those were those were bugs in the past it's so sad it's strong 2k by strong evan though definitely very strong 2k from cash and I will say that is going to go ahead and I mean that clinches it right here. It is a 32 point lead for Deadheads. So Deadheads will be convicted of murder. Yes, however, we will play out this final match. Uh, you know, obviously just for chat, you know, you want to see a full game here and we got to use our killer usages up. Definitely be curious to see what uh, Outlaws of the Fog chooses to bring knowing this game is over per se in a way, but not in another way. You can get practice here on a killer that you want, maybe uh, a newer ex experience uh, survivor or killer main, right? That you want to get some experience, practice something out, you can do that, or you can uh, try to put on a show, whatever you want. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you cut out for stream, but I can't hear you. You know, that's really interesting, but uh, guess what happened? What happened? My microphone connected and disconnected and connected again to Windows. And so, um, oops, I was muted. <laughs> that's all right. When my microphone connects to my computer, it connects muted. So yeah, thank you for that because I didn't even realize. No worries, no worries. I was like, wait a minute, he's talking. Why can't I hear him? <laughs> oh, you know me. Just trying to be silent Vader. No, <laughs> no, not really. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, that was, it was really good matches from both sides. Deadheads definitely showing their strength to start out the match and then to just continue through it. They're just powering through. Um, they built their lead early and they haven't really let it go. What do you think we're going to see in this last trial now? Might see a trickster. Trickster. Interesting pick. Trickster is not that bad of a killer, though. It might, 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 it might be something you want to save. You never know. If you have a good trickster main, you might want to save that. Maybe. Maybe. I... Hmm. So do you think we see Evan for Evan? No, I think... You know what? There's been a lot of friendly interactions i'll put it that way between the killers and survivors i feel in this game i'm gonna stick by that a pig's coming i think we're gonna see some snoot boops or maybe a nemi maybe we can get karen nemi. in on this action maybe nemi nemi i think is too powerful to consume at this point True, i, I do it's... see luna in here and i know luna as a pretty good trickster main you might Let's burn a trickster here um, but at the same time, like you said, you might save a trickster because trickster could be kind of powerful depending in the right hands, right? So, um, going along those lines, maybe you see a ghost face. You never know. You see some, uh, some funny ghost face. I'd be a fan. Yeah, ghost face is a really interesting killer, one that I haven't really been able to dive deep into, but really fun mechanics and there's nothing like just like working on a gen going back and forth and all you see a little head just creeping out the side of a wall like <laughs> oh yeah no uh recently actually uh on uh i did a stream with shep shep um and like we were just playing fun and uh me and somebody else on a gen no me and two other people on the gen we were proving out the first gen of the match we didn't notice ghostface just chilling behind a locker like hey guys all three of us get like exposed and uh that was 
probably the scariest moment of that match was just everybody like, so does anyone know who the killer is? Oh! So, yeah, it was... Woo! Woo! It was, uh, it was, it was a lot. It was a whole lot. So, it would be, uh... It'd be, I think it would be pretty cool to see um, a ghost face or something like that. A stocky killer. So Pig is pretty good still, too. For sure, for sure. Oh, Shep wants Susie. Uh, 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 wait a minute. Is this going to start the Susie or Riot thing? Uh-oh, not again. Oh, no. Harley's joining in. Yes, Susie, please. Now Mailstorm Susie. Oh no. Is this Susie or Riot? There it is. Spawn Peak. Susie or Riot. Here it's starting. Uh oh. Uh oh. Susie or Riot. Uh. Do we get a Susie? I think I have like the worst Susie skin of them all. But uh, I think I do have a Susie skin. Let me check my Legion. What do I got? Every time I've seen Legion, it's always that Susie with the. I don't know if it's the Susie with the one with the sweater, the Christmas sweater. Yeah, this is the only Susie one I have. Hmm. I like the mask on that one, though, a lot. And the neon on the jacket. Yeah, that's why I got it. I liked the neon, because it's glow. It's glowy, and I like glowy. The glowy yeah, is the nice. One, the one interesting thing about uh, Legion I like is if you have a Meg in your lobby with the uh, Death Guard mask in... Mm -hmm. Sometimes, if uh, you have perks that make the, tra the uh, Legion undetectable, I've noticed like streamers and people just not notice right away that it's the Legion and not the Meg in their lobby <laughs> from a distance. True, very <laughs> true. Um, I so I've been playing some Prop Night, and they have a killer that I I, I enjoy called uh, what is it? The Imposter. He works a lot of the way that I felt like Legion should work from like uh, from Legion's uh, announcement video and everything. So he actually turns into one of the survivors. He like fully transforms to pretty much be them and then reveals himself to be the killer when he swings. I thought that would have been like super cool to have Legion function that way. I'm, I'm kind of like, I definitely haven't or may have tweeted at behavior and said, hey, can you rework Legion and make Legion do this? <laughs> but I just think that well, would be completely different and be pretty cool. The probably the counter you'd hear to that though is people in comms would just make that killer quote unquote useless. But a way I feel like you can make a median so that like maybe you don't know who it is or what it is is have it be like a base small thing about the killer. Like you know how Wraith the further away they are, the harder they are to spot. Mm -hmm. You could maybe have a thing where maybe when the Legion's a certain amount of distance to you, they appear as if they are a survivor, but when they get closer to you, they change to the Legion. So that like, as a, as a, you'll have no terror radius and you see them running across the map towards you, you're like, oh, Meg's coming to help me with this gen. And as they get closer, they start morphing into Legion. <laughs> That'd be uh, pretty interesting. Now, honestly, it would be. I just, I, I think it would be super cool, um, a super cool change to Legion. But, um, I mean, the frenzy's nice. Frenzy definitely nice. I just, uh, I, I found that interesting that the that another kind of like DBD clone had uh, had taken that take, and I think it works out well because uh, it it was it's interesting enough. Survivors do try to call it out, but kind of like you said, like. That would be like the counter to it. Survivors are just gonna call out that I'm disguised as them. Well, the difference was every time like the imposter uses his power, it changes to what which survivor they look like. And so you would see the imposter sometimes use it, stop it, let it cool down, use it again. Like when they're out of everybody's sight. So if it's been called out, oh, he looks like David. Wait, no, he doesn't look like David anymore. He looks like Claudette. Well, there goes the communication out the window. <laughs> I think it would be funny. I think it would be funny. It definitely would make things interesting for sure. It'd, have, it'd definitely be a hard thing to maybe code properly, especially with all the skins and everything in this game, but it'd definitely be interesting if they were capable to do something like that. Uh, yeah, it definitely would. I think, uh, I think it would be... Maybe they don't do it to Legion, but they do it to like some other like killer that comes in the future. I think it would be really cool to see. 
I always wanted a killer that maybe interacted more with chests and lockers, because that's something I feel like killers, like, mostly don't do very much or, you know, except for, like, the niche killers that need to reload at lockers. Like, maybe, like, some kind of killer that spawns extra chests and you have to search the chest for some weird reason. And if you search the wrong one, the killer jumps out of the chest or something. <laughs> oh no, a mimic? Man, I can't have yeah. mimics in this game. You're gonna have, oh nah, I can't, nah. <laughs> that, that's bad for my heart, man. Like, be able to transform into a chest. Ooh, a loot chest, <laughs> I'm eating. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, it would be crazy. I mean, like, that's one of the reasons why I don't open chests in Dark Souls, dude. I'm just afraid of the mimics. <laughs> Mm. But we do see all of the survivors readied up, uh, as well as uh, I do see all of the um, offerings that I should see. So we are all good to go there. Uh, we will go ahead and review our penalty rules for the final match here. So definitely if there were any penalties in this match, they could be played out. It could be restarted or both could happen depending you know uh things that would incur a penalty would be spawning in with two of the same survivor having a banned perk item or add-on uh those would be negative five points in a possible restart if you bring us to the wrong map though it would be negative five points in an auto restart uh if you do any of the following things that would be negative 10 points per offense no restart so don't harass refs and please please bring people only on your roster, you know, and uh, also don't bring a consumed killer. That's also negative 10 points. For more on these rules, exclamation point rules in the chat. Oh, what? Shep said that they have a use of hag left. Do you think they bring hag here? I think this map's just too big for a hag, but you could do it. Uh, I personally only like to play a hag on really maybe Suffo, ARP, Dead Dog, and Cold Tower because of the way those uh, three and four gents tend to spawn but you could play it here you never know maybe maybe let's go ahead and take a look in here and we see a trickster you were correct in your assessment then let's you know kind of uh... I, I i tend to i tend to have some pretty good predictions i don't know if anybody keeps track of uh my predictions but uh we're pretty good so far Hey, you're on point so far today. I think you got a... Uh... Did you get all of them right? I'm trying to remember. Uh, I've gotten all of Deadheads right. I've, uh, I called Demo, and then I called, uh... Yeah. Or, no, I didn't call Trapper. No. I didn't get all of Deadheads picks right. I've gotten Trapper. I've Whoa. gotten... Oh, my goodness. We're getting knives through the blindness. Talk about good headphones. Gotta love it. I we'll get the injury here, though, and takes a run towards Shaq, maybe? Maybe not. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. The dead hard doesn't get him that far, though. Nope. Unfortunate, Dre. <laughs> Glad to see that this trickster did not forget about Dre. <laughs> Never forget about Dre. Uh, looks like we're about to reload here and probably gonna want to see pressuring uh, those non-corrupt gens. Corrupt actually was pretty friendly to us this time. Uh-oh. We'll see these survivors really button down on these gens, though. That one's really close. There's got to be at least another gen you, th you think uh, fairly heavy worked on. Having a little trouble trying to can throw through the crack. Can you that? I don't... Yes, you, 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 I, I would assume you can. I know you can throw through the railings and dead dog, and those look just about to be the same space, so I'd imagine you can. Oh, yep, you can. Yep. You can throw through a lot of things. It doesn't look like you should be able to. It just takes a very precise aim. Yeah. I'm wondering if those survivors found the totem there, because there was a totem there. You have to think they at least uh, heard the crack of the fire. We will oh, also no. see... Cash finding the trickster, unfortunately, on the wrong side of that pallet. Oh, chooses to fake the drop and instead runs straight through into the trickster's face again. Unfortunate here. We'll be another hook by. We might see a deli, you never know, because very often the first unhooker will always be a deli for the most part. Not always, but you never know. Yeah, I, if if they kept the same build as last game, then for sure, because uh, Cash was our deli last time. Tricks are getting a lot of good early knives in here. 
And then quick down on Mr. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, Luna knows what they're doing with uh, Trickster. I've played against Luna's Trickster a couple times, and they definitely are on point with several of those knives. But uh, Deadhead's doing a really good job. Uh, they really have become known as uh, some filthy gen rushers, and they're doing it. They're doing it right here. Two gens gone. Uh, they're, uh, they're probably going to finish another gen. Only one, though. Probably not uh, more than one here soonish. The God nice. palette does go down. This call I should make distance from it. There goes the totem. That's probably uh, maybe was there a ruin there? There was a ruin, so that could have been ruin gone there. Uh, yeah, it could be. Uh, as we see that gen still regressing, that is actually not ruin. It is undying that was taken away. Okay, so we still have ruin on the table then. For sure. Well, not oh. anymore. There goes books. Cast his curse. <laughs> there and and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Just as quick as it was there, it's gone. Oh my oh. goodness. We have uh we've got something charged, friends. Yeah, see survivors are gonna have to be careful because the trickster does know where two other survivors were a second ago. He could slug and go back to that area and maybe get another. No, nah, he's got enough time to get this hook and then start throwing. Even better. Right. Those survivors, if they're smart, are going to be holding away from that direction and going across the map. So it's it nope. And here's the pull from it because they just finished that gen over there. We're going to reload first? Really? I don't think you have enough time now. Ah! Nope. They, they don't. They don't. They didn't do it. I think they need the slug if they wanted to go for another uh, down with that main event realistically there, unfortunately. But, you know, uh, you can't blame on taking the points that you can get. Uh, every time you leave a star on the ground, you run the risk of him being picked up. So you got to make sure you get those points. Yeah, I really wish main event was like a you trigger when to use it, um, like and can hold the charge. <laughs> I could see the reasoning behind that, but I feel like with the extended timer that they have now in it, um, and with the, it feels like more often times you get it now a game. Usually get it a few times a game. In most uh, pub games, at least, I'd say that it's in an okay spot. I'd, maybe it'd be it'd feel better if you could activate it like an ultimate in another video game, but I feel like it's in an okay spot right now. I think that's fair. Um, let's see. They did finish another gen. It looks like they're fine just letting uh, Cade hang here. Uh, and they're trying to finish the shack? Maybe. Is it Kashak in the shack? It is Kashak in the shack. I feel like we're in an elf on a shelf moment here. We're going to see its wealth <laughs> pop out of nowhere. A cat in a hat. Ooh, it cash with a vault gives the killer a kiss and goes for a run. Pretty much, but hey, look, not even taking an injury state yet. Ooh, oop, still not. Oh, wait a minute. Did Lu oh, man. Luna missed the fact that uh, he just totally abandoned over there. Uh, he had W gamed away. Luckily, finding, I think that's Dre there. I think we get the down on Dre here soon. Only 20 knives. Oh, we or not. Bounce cash. It's an injure on them. I don't think they have enough knives to probably get this down unless they really hit him. You got to be patient. Oh. Uh, they're rushing him too much. Yep. We're gonna need a reload here unless he wants to try to mind game this. He's trying to mind game it, but Cash is really good against mind games. Oh, he's just abandoning going to that window. This is not the right tile for you to do this. Luna recognizing that is gonna go ahead and go refill on those knives. We gotta know that survivors are at least on that. Oh, we find Mr. Beautiful though. This might be an intentional uh, showing here. Mr. Beautiful trying to get attention. Yep. Try to finish up that gen probably in check. Yeah, I, thought I was I was going to say, I was like, why would you show yourself there if not for that? Um, definitely our survivors, though, finishing the last gen. But um, I, I, I want to see the resets come in here because otherwise could be a little bit of an issue, right? Oh, no, you're not going to get that. <laughs> I think if you back up and try to hit the angle, you might be able to get it, but not standing that close to the pallet, you won't. <laughs> Good decision to just walk and go get him. Oh, uh, man. Do we have body blocks? Oh, getting hit by two knives. That has made just shoes. One, two, three, three that's it. Uh, 
You know what's yeah. really good about getting those knives? Main event? Well, that's one. But the other thing is they don't know if there's no ed. That's true. They don't know. Uh, we know because we can see the side of our screen, but they don't know. But they don't know. They don't know. How could they know? How could they know? They're not going to know. Also, can I just say I love this trickster's weapon. I have never noticed the first person view of this weapon. I love the, it looks like a little crescent moon with spikes on it. Yes, and that's exactly what it is because uh, this is the, the costume that was like a crescent moon festival or something. Um, I, I forget the name of it, but that, that is why. Uh, he actually has a necklace as well that uh, is crescent moon shaped. It's a very cool cosmetic. I ended up buying it as soon as I saw it. I was like, ooh, I love. Survivor's choosing a three man out. Trick's just trying to get in there and get that hatch. Maybe trying to get some extra blood points. Blood points in a custom match? No way. But let's uh, let's let's be fair. I don't know if you saw yesterday's match, uh, Psycho. But I uh, did. Plus four hundred thousand. Uh, plus uh, four hundred percent blood points in comp. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Yeah. We'll see good sportsmanship in the end game chat. G gotta love when you get to see that. Yeah, the GG well played. We love it for sure. Oh my goodness. So, we will see Deadheads convicted of murder here. Definitely very strong performance for them uh, coming in and winning the game 83 to 46. Well, it's not under Allos of the Fog. I know the score doesn't reflect it, but they had some great plays, some some good games. The, I believe it was their first game of when they played. They came out was fairly strong, not terrible on that spirit. They had a good amount of hooks, and if they made a couple different decisions, maybe if they gotten a good progression, I think early in the game and tried to tunnel somebody out, that game could have gone in their favor better than it did, unfortunately. Yeah, definitely the uh, the. Uh, sur the survivors on both sides definitely put in some good work um, and just uh, the the killers as well. I mean, Luna did very good there in that final match to um, put a lot of points up there on the board. Um, the survivors just did a good job of sharing hook states. I think that's really what uh, helped deadheads out was just making sure everybody who took chase we talked about the intentional show myself so that they'll find me um that was uh that was very good play to share the hook states make sure that they get out as well as the builds were very balanced and i mean the way that uh both teams utilize their builds uh to the best of their abilities for sure and we didn't see a lot of uh like I said, a lot of not a lot of progressions today, not a lot of uh, camping to progressions or anything of the sort. A lot of just general hooks, more than I usually mm -hmm. see in comp games. I don't think. What's crazy too is we didn't really see any DS. Yeah, well, there wasn't very many tunnels in this game for the most part, other than like a couple occasions. It was a very fair game. Like yeah. people say that comp is just full of camping and tunneling. Well, leave it to these teams to show you it's not all camping and tunneling. Uh, we have somebody here. I think Hello. we do. We have a cash. How are you doing, cash. cash? I'm doing good. How are you guys? Doing well. Doing well. Very good matches out there. It looked like they were fun matches too. They were pretty fun. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, definitely. How were how were comms on the survivor side uh, during that first match? You guys shared hook states really well. Had some good resets and uh, overall just did really well to get the four out and put you guys in a good position early match. Um, it wasn't too bad for comms. I think we were pretty much on top of things. There was quite a bit of screaming, but <laughs> I think that's how it always goes. Oh my goodness. Like good screaming, bad screaming? Just like focused screaming, you know? You know what mm, I'm saying? So what you're telling me is they were going Super Saiyan in the chat. I think so. Ah, I see, I see. I like that, I like that. That's how you power up to get the four out, right? Just intense screaming. It was a lot of decision making. Should we do this? Should we not? Mm. It was a tough choice. Mm. 
Well, I'd say after seeing that first matchup, I'd say the power level was over 9,000. Uh, but <laughs> Psycho, I'm going to go ahead and... Do, do you have anything you want to ask, Cash? Uh, so, obviously, Trapper was probably not the plan going into the game. I imagine. <laughs> You're wrong. I'm <laughs> wrong? Really? Yes. Wow. Plan. A plan, strong Evan. Gotta love it. Chat, Twitch chat, I love that. <laughs> Strong would... Evan, my goodness. Yeah, Yo. that was the plan. Just because, I mean, you guys talked about it early in the uh, stream, but I think that we don't really have much of a place to get into the playoffs anymore. So we kind of decided to just meme around a little bit with our picks. Mm. Didn't You're expect it to work out. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, I was going to say the demo is a perfect pick for that map. Like, every yeah. time I see that map, I'm like, I think of demo. So uh, definitely the pick to bring demo, even if that was kind of a meme pick, that, that's a seriously good pick. I think the Trapper was the meme pick. I think, you know, Cade's really good with demo. He's, he knows what he can do with that for sure but you know what you're doing with trapper too i noticed like so the trap that got the most use that one you put in the like, bamboo <laughs> right yeah i wanted you to go ahead and put more of those on the field because those are the most successful traps for trapper like the tall grass around the loop is like I, I find when I play Trapper, it's more effective to do that rather than trap like the uh, the pallet itself. Yeah. And I'll just try to mind game the pallet. But if they go ahead and go to the trap side and they don't see it in the tall grass right on the edge of it, if they try to hug that wall with their forehead, mm, that's a trap every time. And it's just so juicy. That's very true. I knew placing that there somebody was going to run into it. But uh, <laughs> most of my traps were in pallets because I'm pretty inexperienced actually uh aside from these past two weeks i probably played trapper five four or five times uh, i so see i see learning. i see i see that that uh you had a very good performance for somebody just learning trapper so um strong evan in the future i'm uh, i'm i'm excited <laughs> like to thank no ed and no way out <laughs> Yo, I, I like that. Almost like you're at the Grammys. Like, uh, I'd love to give <laughs> thanks to my no Ed and my no way out. They really came in clutch. They exactly. they helped me clap. <laughs> they always support me. Speaking of no Ed, the spawns for no Ed in this game today are just insane. I'm telling you. Pretty nasty. On Queen the... Gates, like, every time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. for, for both of uh, Deadhead's matches, the spawns for no Ed were just impeccable. <laughs> That was, uh, that, they were very, they were choice. Uh, definitely very excited about that. Well, you guys, I think you actually do have a path to the playoffs, possibly, uh, as long as you win out. So this does, I think, help you get closer to that. Um, I know we have a lot of difficult teams to get up next to. Uh, yeah. The, the weeks. yeah. I want to ask Ash about one particular moment in that first game. I want to know how the comms were talking about how I was going in that last unhook when you had all the survivors at that exit gate. I want to know what was going on through your team's head at that moment. <laughs> um, instant. Well, there was just yelling from everybody trying to figure out what to do. And we were pretty dumbfounded that uh, we were allowed to stay in the uh, was... exit gate. Mm -hmm. So we ended up just healing. And at that point, I was like, OK, we're going to be able to get this. So let's just go for it. And it worked out pretty well. Honestly, I think uh, you guys had the spirit there um, just because Mr. Beautiful was so close that if she tried to push you out, the save was happening. Now, my question is, did Mr. Beautiful have BT? Mm, he did not. It was both of the people at the exit gate. <laughs> See, so I, wow. noticed, I noticed that in the end game. I just wanted to hear it said out there because... Uh, that was uh, that was the fear, right? Is that Mr. Beautiful has BT and you're not going to be able to get this survivor. But 100% that uh, th th having no BT there, both BTs being in the gate, ah, that's uh, you, you had spirit in a difficult position and I think that's why you were allowed to stay in the gate. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, that's pretty luck, I, I would say. Just lucky. 
Plus those whiffs on those uh, heal techs were huge as well. Let's try to oh. waste a little bit of time. Yeah, yeah for sure. GG's Kashak. Thank you. Oh, is that a Rambo I hear? Yeah. <laughs> We got our Rambo in here. Yeah, definitely love hearing the good sportsmanship as well. If you guys didn't know, Rambo is on Outlaws of the Fog coming in to just say GG's to the oh, opponent here. We're still in stream. Hi, everybody. I didn't know we were still in stream. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so just as quick as Rambo has entered, Rambo has exited. All right. But hey, you guys got to get a little cameo from Rambo. We love that, right? So for sure. Uh, yeah. Cash, do you have anything you want to say to the uh, fans of Deadheads, uh, fans of Vigos, or to your opponents, especially since Rambo's here? <laughs> thank you for all the support for the fans, you know. And thank you for the very fun games today. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And GG's well played. All right, well, guys, this is not the last match for today. This is also not the last time you're going to see Psycho at the desk. We actually have another match at 9 Eastern, and Psycho will be joining me on that for sure. So, uh, it, mm -mm. hey, wait, mm -mm. what? Mm -mm. No? Yeah, you about to shock me too. I was like, I am? <laughs> Never mind. I was lying. You, you know me. Every once in a while, got to hit you with a good old lie right there. Um, I, uh, hey, hey, Rambo, since you're still here, um, it's Shep Shep, isn't it? Yes, it's Shep Shep. It's Shep Shep. Hi, hey, everybody. guys. I didn't like leave, leave, but I'm here, but I'm not here. Just ignore me. It's Shep Shep. My bad. That's a Vader mistake. So um, go ahead and uh, slap my wrist later. But, uh, you know, catch us back here at 9 Eastern. <laughs> and with that, we do have Deadheads convicted of murder and uh, courts adjourned. Peace out, everybody.